Hi, I'm Len Rutledge from Experience Guide. Today I want to show you the attractions at Jungfrau Jock, the top of Europe. To reach there, we need to take three trains from Interlaken, Switzerland. On the way up, you change trains at Grindelwald or Lutebrunnen. We then change again at Kleiner Scheide. It takes more than two hours, but the trip is sensational. The last few kilometres are through the Eiger Mountain. At the top, Jungfrau Jock Station is carved out of the mountain. Here we are, we finally arrived after three train trips. Once you enter the main complex, which is also underground, you need to get a map and information. Then you start your journey. The first thing to do is visit the amazing Jungfrau panorama. It is dramatic and quite spectacular. Next we visit the famous Sphinx viewpoint by elevator. Here you get amazing views to Jungfrau over the longest glacier in Europe and into Italy, France and Germany. Unfortunately, today is bitterly cold and cloudy. Even the birds are suffering. Despite the cold, we want to go out into the snow. So we head past Roger Federer and Lindsay Vonn out for some fun. Here we are out in the snow and not surprising, it is freezing cold. Normally you can do snow tubing, skiing and snowboarding with rental equipment, but not today. Fairly quickly, we go back inside to the Alpine sensation. Then it's on to moving walkways through a museum showing the pioneering era of the Jungfrau Railway. Yeah, the tunnel looks about right, in the right place I think. Thirty memorial tablets are to the miners who lost their lives in the construction of the railway. There are relics and projections all the way to the top.
from the alpine sensation, we move on to the ice palace. Tunnels have been carved through the glacier, so you are surrounded on all sides by ice, even where you walk, so it is rather slippery. Ice sculptures have been made in enlarged caverns. There are polar bears, penguins and many more. We have just about done everything at the top that we can possibly do. We started at the train station, came down here through the shops and the main complex, then down this long corridor into the Jungfrau panorama, which was fantastic. We then went up here by elevator into the Sphinx lookout. Unfortunately, it was very cold and cloudy and snowy up there. So we came down and actually went out into the snow in this area here. We came back inside absolutely freezing cold, then came up here to the Alpine Sensation, then up through the Ice Palace. Now we are walking down here back to the main complex and then to the train station. In the main complex, there are several restaurants where you can eat and shops selling all sorts of typical Swiss souvenirs. My wife loved the Link Chocolate Outlet where you can treat yourself. We spent more than three hours at the top and if the weather was better, we could easily have added another two. This is a major attraction which you shouldn't miss when you're in Switzerland. Then it's on the train to go back down into the valley after a wonderful day. If you would like to see more experience guides videos, please subscribe to our channel.